It's the Daily Comedy News with your host, Mark Pyers. Join us for breaking headlines and all kinds of comedy shenanigans. Brought to you by The Beat Seat. Kobe Bryant's parents face backlash after putting championship ring on the auction block. I get it. I get it. I mean, that's why. You got to figure. Maybe they didn't, he didn't leave them any money or something. Maybe he was left out of the will. I don't know. Let's see. Kobe Bryant gave his father, Joe, his very first championship ring as a gift in 2000. He won it with the Los Angeles Lakers when they defeated the Indiana Pacers, making it his first of five NBA championships throughout his story career. He gave his mother Pamela a replica, but now the original ring that is made of 14 karat gold and has a total of 40 diamonds is being auctioned off. This is the second time Kobe's parents have attempted to sell some of his prized possessions and fans are pissed. And they're also trying to buy it, just so you know. Like they're pissed, but then they're also on the auction block seeing if they could buy everything from Joe. Uh, One called them disgraceful while also looking for the address to go and buy the products, the memorabilia. While another noted Kobe would have never sold it, but where could I buy it, he said, he followed up with. Others felt the ring should stay in the family, or maybe it could be in my family, like where do I go, where do I log in? Um, Or that late athlete's wife, Vanessa Bryant, should buy it and keep it safe. Or I will, like I'm happy to, you know, like I got some money I've been saving up, like waiting for a Kobe Bryant ring, (laughs) you know? Like where could I log in, you know? But you should keep it, you know, as well, you jerks. (laughs) Right? That's it, it's up there. How much is the bid for? Can we go and check it out? Wow. $64,000. One of Kobe's championship rings is currently up for auction. Can we get to the actual site? Via the site supply. All right, it's not there, unfortunately. But guys, it's happening. They're selling it. Prior to his death, Kobe and his parents reportedly attempted to make amends after several fallouts. That began with him starting to date Vanessa. Joe and Pamela didn't attend the couple's wedding in April 2001. I'm starting to understand why he's selling the rings. Over the years, the brief reconciliations were documented, but that came to a halt in 2013. When you give, give, and they take, take, at what point do you draw a line in the sand, Kobe tweeted, according to the Los Angeles Times with the hashtags hurt beyond measure. Gave me no warning, and finally, love? The tweet was a response to his parents attempting to sell several beloved pieces of memorabilia from Kobe's career, including the aforementioned championship ring and high school jerseys. This prompted a lawsuit. The New York Post reported because Kobe reportedly wasn't notified about the auction and didn't give permission to sell any of these items in question. We regret our actions. Sorry. We regret our actions and statements related to Kobe Bryant's auction memorabilia, said Joe and Pamela in the statement at the time. So let's see. (laughs) This did put a further strain on Kobe's relationship with his parents as they did not attend his final NBA game back in 2016. Our relationship is sh. He explained uh, to ESPN, I say, I'm going to buy you a very nice home. And their response is, that's not good enough. Then you're selling my sh. Neither Vanessa nor Joe or Pamela have publicly spoken about this current auction, which will be live until March 30th. So guys, I know you're trying to figure out where do I go to to get this thing. You know what I mean? I want to buy the championship ring. I want to buy a jersey. You know, they should keep it. But if they don't, I'm all over it. World champions right there. Let's find it. It's currently valued at 94,000, but where is the site? I I wanna put a bid in. I really don't care about basketball, so I wouldn't, but there's his dad and his mom right there. And look, he's hugging them, he's so proud. And they're like, we can't wait to sell this mother thing, you know what I mean? Oh, hold on. Ooh, Golden's website. Guys, I think I found it. (laughs) <laughs> Sometimes you do it. Sometimes you find it and you're placing a bid. Here we go. We're signing in. Just kidding. I, don't, I would never place a bid for this. Right? 94K. 
you got it's 114,680 with the buyer's premium. So you're, you're paying another 20K on top for a buyer's premium. Let's see what the bid history is. On March 17th is the last bid at uh, 409, and that brought it up to 94K. It started at $30,000 on March 8th, and it's going to be until March 30th. So 11 days. Eight out, 11 days, 10 hours, and 28 minutes. Who's going to make sure you remind me to double check on this so we can see what the final, you know, total is? You know, do I'll keep this thing open. We're going to leave it right here. Next couple days, we'll come back and look and see what's there. All right? Uh, so let's get back. Last news story of the day, guys. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like on the way out the door. Leave a comment and share. I'm live at 9 a.m. and after 9 p.m., so join us. This is the Mark Inspire Show.